Hi guys, the topic of this video is the Arch Linux Tweak Tool. Not the Arch Linux Tweak Tool, but the Arch Linux Tweak Tool. As you know, Arch Linux is here to teach you all about Arch. So our knowledge can be used on anything Arch Linux based. The idea to have was to have a GUI, sort of graphical user interface, that we can use anywhere and that we can quickly select some things that we like to have, install some things, some services, stuff like all these, right? All these tabs. Now, Nato has put in a lot of energy to change the version of um, the ATT. You may or may not know that NeoFetch is not going to be developed in uh, anytime soon, so development stopped, which means FastFetch is the one that's taking over and we need to integrate it into the ATT and that has been the job of NATO. So if we update the systems today and as you can see it's a virtual machine, virtual box it says up here. So all these updates need to come in and one of those is just a few right, Arclix here, Arclix here and all the rest is not from us. We have no impact or we don't have to do anything about all these other packages this is 90 percent if not in this case 95 percent pure arch and only the things that has the name have the name here Arclix. so four packages that would change because of the arch linux tweak tool development we've changed fish bash which is root and zsh so we have three shells and you can change the shell so Ctrl T, fast fetch is normally not installed, so FF is not working, not yet. Pseudo Pacman minus S fast fetch. So if you want to look at the technical data in inside a terminal, you should first install it and then you can run it. So NeoFetch can be installed and probably will be uh, still working in the coming months, but probably not in the coming years, right? So hence the change to fast fetch. Let me tell you the following. So FastFetch will show us that we're on bash. Default is, is bash, but we can change. And if we are on bash, then you know that this is the file that will be governing. That's the configuration of bash. This is the configuration of ZSHRC. And if we install it, we have a folder here called fish. And fish has also a config fish. That's where everything is um, configured. Okay, so three major files, and we had to change it because of the fact that well, fast fetch, well, neo fetch is out and fast fetch is in, but you can't have well when you start programming and you want to change something inside a file like this one, right? We want to activate fast fetch. There's no need for GUIs, right? You just do this, it's activated. Safe, of course, right? But if you want to tell it to the system, if you want to program it in a GUI, you need to be sure that there are not more instances, and there were. So if we find it, this one calls, of course, to do this. And then you get an error because the dash dash short does not exist. So this was just commentary, like this is commentary, like that is commentary. It's not meant to be done like that. That, that, that doesn't make any sense, right? It's just a comment. So we had to change here this thing into this thing, just the space. And with that, everything is okay. With an extra space in here, it's something different if we do like this, control find one match. So we can say to the GUI, that's what we're looking for, find. And now we find at the bottom there, well, I've deleted it, but we have here this thing, right? Save, and just the one, and that's the thing. We just need the one to change, 570 in config fish, set this age some other one somewhere else, right? Bash somewhere else, but has always has to be at the end. So basically we've changed ZSH, bash and fish, and we added a space, right? <laughs> That's probably uh, all we did. And then if you want to 
activate everything. Well, since this is a big update, I'll, I'll, you have to do what you say and say what you do. A big update is restart. Simple as that. Big update, don't, don't keep working, right? Just reboot, make sure everything works. Cheers. A bit, little bit of coffee. Start today. So we have an up-to-date system, all right? As you know, if you've seen videos, how to update things, there are things like update and there are things like up all and there are things like uh, CB, CB is copy bash and there's things like scale. So aliases, have a look at all the aliases that we use if you're new to the system. There's a lot in here, right? There really is a lot in here and it's just because it's sufficient. It's where we need to go all the time. It's the same thing we have to do all the time. So why not just say copy bash CB copy etc scale bash RC to my own home directory and execute it again. Same thing for con copy Z here. Copy the new imported file from us with the extra space and copy paste it over and then start it but only, we only start it when we are on ZSH. And we're not, right? So fast fetch, we did not install it yet. So you go back and minus S fast fetch. And if we do that, we can type FF, which is a little bit shorter. And basically this is what we're talking about, about knowledge of hardware. You need to see a little bit, okay, we're on the Zen kernel. How many packages do we have? Oh yeah, we're on Bash, or XFCE, or ChatWM, or Mate. And all this information can help discover what we're doing, how much memory you're using, etc. So basically, what do you do? Bottom line, you update your systems, okay? When you're on Bash, you type CP, copy Bash. When on ZSH, copy Z from uh, copy the file from etc scale and cf if you're on fish and there you are that's it and now the fun starts you can go to att on whatever shell you've chosen go to fast fetch let's um, open the terminal Control t nothing here right that's the default. We don't want anything to see to, to, to show here. And now we have a click here. And if we open another terminal, Control T, from now on, files fetch is launched. And you can add some stuff like the lolcat thing, right? So each time you have to close the terminal because now it's gonna launch again with the commentary behind it, lolcat, a little bit bigger. Voila, then <laughs> is it better, a little bit better? But okay. And you can go for small. Well, maybe not, not gonna go for all. All shows also my IP address, but normal. Apply fast fetch, control T. That's that. Small, apply, control T. This one should be a little bit bigger if you go for lolcat, I see. None, control T. Now, first save. Good test, right? Apply, Control T. Ah, yeah. So, it's is it necessary? Not really. Is it interesting from time to time? Sure, it is. Um, to know, okay, what hardware do I have? But there are other ways to know how how to uh, to know the the hardware. Normal is probably going to be the best if we activate it. Control T. Voila. Anyway, that's what we've done. And thanks to Nato for taking the time. So NeoFetch is out, it's no longer in here. Probably will work for the coming weeks, like I said, but who knows, years, maybe a little bit too much as things progress and then it fails. So that's still working just fine. It's another kind of look, some other data in there, but there we go. All right, enjoy.